in this question we've been told that angle E1 is 28 degrees, so let's go fill that in, and E2 is 64. The first question asks us to calculate the angle G, which is over here. So can you see the bow tie? Whenever you see the bow tie kind of shape, you know the bow tie shape that guys would wear to a a formal dance and then they usually have like a, a bow tie whenever you see that kind of shape some people also call it the butterfly as soon as you see that that's a good thing because the top angles of a butterfly or a bow tie are equal and the bottom angles are also equal so these two angles are the same as each other the 28 and angle G so we can say that angle G is going to be equal to 28 degrees and now we don't say bow tie or butterfly you say angles in same segment or you can actually just say sig like that right now for four marks we need to work out the angle B which is this one over here so if you look at this cyclic quad we know that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad add up to 180 so we could work out C2 so angle C2 would be 180 minus 64 and that's because of opposite angles of a cyclic quad. So that means that angle C2 would be 116 degrees. Now have a look at this triangle. We can now work in that triangle to eventually find B. So there are different ways of doing this but I'm just going to use the straight line over here. So C1 would be equal to 180 minus 116. I just realized now we could have used angle C1 as the external angle of that cyclic quad. If you did it like that, that's awesome. It is correct. That would give us 64, but that's because of angles on a straight line. Angles on straight line. So that would give us C1. Now we can use the sum of angles in the triangle to get a um to which should make 180. So we could say that angle B is equal to 180 minus 64 minus 28, and that's because of sum of angles in a triangle and so if we had to work that out we would get an answer of 88 degrees.